So, but I, so, you know what? I uh, the other thing I think it is is that you do take this show and everything you teach very seriously. And sure. So there's a lot of people that hit us up and go, "Oh, I've been." We still get people who don't know that we're doing the podcast now, and they yeah. just discover us like last week, especially on the YouTube page. Right. They'll be like, "Oh, I didn't know. I've been listening to the Black Phillips show." And blah, blah. You take that very seriously, and the thing is, you feel like the lessons of the Black Phillips show are were good for the time. But you've evolved a lot since then. I think that's the other thing is that people are listening to the Old Testament and you want them to be careful because it doesn't help them. Right. It's not the best information. Well, like I can always tell when somebody came upon the show later and they were listening to spe specifically Black Phillip because they'd be like, hey, yeah, I'm fucking with this bitch. And I'm like, and I don't even talk like that, really. You know what I'm saying? That's not the pronoun that I use. I'm not saying I, I I haven't or I don't. I'm just saying I can always tell the the the, the tone the of what vitriol the vitriol yeah. between them because and that's the one of the reasons why I why we change the philosophy because you can't really you can't really make good decisions when you're when you're basing your decisions on some kind of anger based on on some anger or some situation where you're you feel as though that you have been mistreated and honestly that was a lot of what the what, what you know what was coming from when we did black philip um as opposed to um you know what we said you know much later which was you can't be mad at fish for swimming so i i, I the first thing when i got the comment i was like I, you know is this me ego tripping and then when i thought right. about why i thought so, so so i mean and and harry and andrea both will testify to this is that i really not only do i believe the 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 things that i say but i practice it in my own no, life no doubt no doubt and one of the reasons why i practice it because i've found that authenticity credibility and 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 empathy the three principles are the principles that supersede everything else, no matter what the situation, no matter who the woman is, no matter, even if it's a woman and she's dealing with, and I advise her prospectively from, a, from the man's, from, you know, about somebody she's dating. The same principles, because it, at, when you boil it down to the root, that is fundamental. Now, how you apply that and how well you apply that is the thing that's difficult. So, so, so I believe, I believe the, what I, what, what, what I'm saying. And so here's, here's what I really, what I realize is, so I find that people will put Patrice on a pedestal. I find even that guys will put me on a pedestal guys who are for not in general, but people who follow the show and what I've said over and over again, even Harry used to say this, look, I'm not you. Right. Like I would go do this, do that, do it. And Harry would go, yo, I'm not you. I, I, I'm not, and I go, look, before you was you, before I was me, I was you. That's what right. the, the, because the bottom line is the principles. It's not me. Now you can find your own style. In fact, that's what I want you to do. I want to teach you how to fish so you can fish on your own. And well, and that's what I had to learn to do a lot because sure. your style, the rules are the same, but the application is not necessarily the same. Right. So it's, it's the equivalent of like coaching a team and, saying, all right, you need to make sure your players are disciplined. You can do it by yelling and screaming, or you can do it just by enforcing the rules calmly or being very, you know, calm and matter of fact. That's You can do it different ways. But I would rule... even go further than that. If you got a basketball team, the way you, win, the way you win, win, win games is you put the ball in the hoop. How you do that is very right. – it can be very different from – uh, and and some play defense and some just all off, whatever. So the point is, there's a difference. But on a fundamental level, you got to put the ball in the hoop more than the other guy. And I found I would do the same things that Dante does and still do, but in a different tone and a different manner. Right. And right. one that's just more. I'm a little more laid back with things, but I can just still be at the same level of you know we, we're still in the same position of stop this right now. Right. It's just a different method of stopping it. I can do right. it. Dante is, you know, your catchphrase is, first of all, get the get fuck, the fuck out. out. Right. <laughs> and I don't do, first of all, get the fuck out. I will, but I will stop it all the same. Go. And I've also learned to soften my technique when, when I need to soften my technique. But my, my point was this idolatry 
this is the way in which we idolize Poetry. our our heroes, right? I, I don't I, know how I, to spell that, nigga. I know how to spell it, son. Wait. I said I don't. I'm trying to oh, look it up. 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 I'm about look to type in I Dollar look it up, Tree. Skinny Phil. So, <laughs> <laughs> so he's gonna type into Google the letter I and then Dollar Tree. Watch me. <laughs> <laughs> he, he gonna be like, he gonna be like, it's gonna be a, a discount store. Yeah, that's what came <laughs> out, nigga. DollarTree.com. <laughs> <laughs> Get it? You got to treat everything like a dollar tree. <laughs> That's so, the philosophy of life. So the the idolatry, the fact that you admire, you put these people on a pedestal, is re the the reason why we do that is because we really want to separate ourselves <clears throat> from our heroes, so that we don't. It gives us an excuse to be less competent. So. For instance, if you go, wow, this person, I admire this person, this person inspires me, but they're still human and so am I. And if I want to, uh, if I want to accrue a certain level of proficiency or a certain level of respect, then I need a crew. Go ahead. A crew. And that doesn't mean, that doesn't mean a whole lot of niggas on a boat. All right. right. Yeah. <laughs> a whole crew like, of niggas. No, no, no. no. <laughs> Crew. I get it. You gotta to... assemble a crew. You need somebody at the front here. of the boat. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so it's it's you to to to. It's a way of not taking responsibility for your life because you go, oh, this is this is some magical dude. This dude is magical. So because right. he's magical. How could I ever achieve that level of proficiency? It's funny. If people saw the roster of people who it's worked on, like I just think of Lenny Marcus, who is the least. Yeah. Lenny Marcus, comedian, is a, uh, he's n the complete opposite of everything you are. He's just a IT Jewish guy. guy he's a white, Jewish IT guy. White Jewish guy with, with glasses. Just the opposite. There's, right. there's, there's no Dante Nero in Lenny Marcus, right, except right. when he followed everything you told him to do, initially anyway. Yeah, uh, it worked. Right. Right. Because the the idea is still the same. All the principles are still the same of maintaining control and knowing your value and not negotiating your non-negotiables. Right. So. So All that's the same. But if when you start to go, oh, this guy is magical. This person is magical. What you really are doing, what you're really saying is this person has something that I don't have. That somehow I'm not a, I'm not capable of achieving a, le a level of, of proficiency in whatever we're talking about because this person is special. So when you you if you look at if you look at look and, and don't get me wrong I mean in some cases you won't but um, if you want to say Michael Jordan is is a magical Negro right yeah he's magical because he worked hard he he was magical because and for me, you know, Michael Jordan's an asshole, but he sacrificed kindness and empathy to be the champion that he is. I mean, I'm not saying that he didn't have natural ability, but he worked at it and he consistently worked at it and he drove himself constantly because he didn't think that there was anybody better than him. And so I don't want nobody to think that I'm better, that I'm better than anybody. I don't want them to even think that Patrice is better than them. Because if we all, all heroes and all our idols have flaws. So if you, if you understand that we all have flaws, it's a matter of overcoming those flaws. And if we don't overcome those flaws, it's, it's uh, the fact that we've made a, we made a decision to not make the sacrifices that we want. Now I'm not saying that somebody can't, you, you, you can't achieve that. Everybody can't be a Michael, uh, Michael Jordan, but, Dog, if you make the sacrifices that he did, you still going to be in the game. You, you don't have to be Michael be, Jordan, but you could, yeah, you could be at the All-Star game. A, you, you could, could be, be in the Reggie league. You could be a Reggie Miller. You could be a, you know what I'm saying? You could be a lot of people that are, that are so proficient. that. But when you start to idolize people, it gives you an excuse not to be, who, not to reach your full potential because oh this dude is magical this this dude is the Harry Potter of game so I could never be that when you you can't and I mean I, I, Harry will tell you in a minute I mean not just his own personal growth but 
he's seen people advise people. And so being clear about what the truth is, the truth, uh, authenticity, truth is supersedes everything. You have I've to watched start. it happen. I watch you take people who are just don't know what they're doing. Uh, guys who are just very sheepish, don't the complete opposite of you. Give them advice and help them build their confidence and you know with the structure of everything. Yeah, you know, learning the five uh, laying the five bricks and learning how to you know know what your value is. And I've seen that I've watched their self esteem grow. You know, these right. are friends of mine who are I watch them months ago being very depressed and down and they're just nothing like you right and they don't have to be and even when they when they get it together they're still not like me they're, right but they become the best of what they uh, what they can be and that's all i've ever wanted and the idolatry of of heroes gives you an excuse not to do that 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 was really so being truthful being credible and understanding the empathy of people now I will absolutely agree that sometimes I'm uh, my honesty is a little brutal for people um, and because people. But like I've said before, what you feel doesn't change the truth. The way you feel, all it proves is that you feel that way. That's it. So, I mean, you can either, you, you know, you could get your butt hurt about something or you could get up off your you can get off your butt and do some work and work on you and be the best version of yourself, you know? And if you're not doing that because you rather, you'd rather, you know, be sucking somebody else's dick, you know, just polishing somebody else's nuts instead of working on yourself, you, you're just not going to get there. And, but I honestly think it's an excuse and your, your offense to the truth does not change anything it doesn't just because you're offended by the truth doesn't mean it changes anything you you just got to dig deeper and go and so that was that was the that that was my point and that's what I, but i also understand um how it could be interpreted because he's my boy and and but i but you know i, I mean let's be honest i i mean for four years for five years i named the show beige philip and we've done nothing but give props for <laughs> We've, we've done nothing but that. So, right. I mean, all of a sudden now, right. because of the fact that we're talking about the real, what's the real story and what's what's the role. And the fact that you see the vulnerability in your idols is is what is what shows you the humanity of where you want to reach your goals are possible. It's possible because we're all flawed in ways and for me and everybody else, including Patrice. You. Man School 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man.